this adds a new pass to G, a new pass to C. The new pass to G is the best on the queue, at least tied for best. So we will put it off queue. Uninformed cost, right? And we have found our shortest pass as ADG, whose length is 8. Note that once again we are not stopping on first visiting, placing on queue the goal. We stop when the goal gets expanded, pulled off queue. When doing uniform calls, it's not correct to stop the search when the first pass to goal is generated. That is when a node whose state is a goal is added to queue. Why not stop on first visiting a goal when doing uniform calls it's not correct to stop it right we must wait until such a pass is put off the queue and tested in step three it is only at this point that we are sure that it is the shortest pass to a goal since there are no other shorter passes that remain unexpanded this contrasts with the non-optimal searches when the choice of where to test for a goal was a matter of convenience and efficiency, not correctness. In the previous example, a pass to G was generated at step 5, but it was a different shorter pass at step 7 that we accepted. Another easier way to say it. Uniform cost and rates passes in order of total pass costs. It is very important to drive home the fact that what uniform cost search is doing. If we focus on the sequence of expanded pass, is enumerating the pass in the search tree in order of their pass cost. The green number is next to the tree on the left as the total pass cost of the pass to the total state. Since in a tree there is a unique pass from the root to any node, we can simply label each node by the length of that pass. So, for example, the trivial pass from S to S is the shortest pass. Then the pass from S to A with the length 2 is the next shortest pass. SAC 4, SB 5, SAD 6, SBD also 6. Uh, SDG 8 and SBG 8, same. This gives us the pass we found that the sequence of expansion corresponds precisely to pass length order, so it's not surprising we found the shortest pass. Now we will turn our attention to what is probably the most popular search algorithm in AI. The A algorithm. A is in inform optimal search algorithm. We will spend quite a bit of time going over A. We will start by contrasting, contrasting it with uniform cost search. Okay, let's compare. Any pass uninformed systematic exploration of whole tree uh, until a goal node is found. It's depth first, breast first. Next, best first. Best first uses heuristic measure of goodness of a node estimated distance to a goal. Uniform cost uses pass length. Measure, find shortest pass. A uses pass length, measure, and heuristic finds shortest pass. Uh, uniform cost is really trying to identify the shortest pass to every state in the graph in order. It has no particular bias to finding a path to a goal early in the search. Uniform cost search, as described so far, is concerned only with expanding short uh, paths. It, it pays no particular attention to the goal since it has no way of knowing where it is. And uniform cost is really an algorithm for finding the shortest path to all steps in a graph rather than being focused in reaching a particular goal, goal direction. Uh, uniform cost is really trying to identify the shortest path. Yeah, we can introduce such a bias by means of heuristic function hn, which is an estimate h of the distance from a state to the goal. Instead of enumerating passes in order of just length g, enumerates pass in terms of s, f, estimated total pass length g plus h. 
and estimates that always underestimates the real best length uh, to the goal is called admissible for example an estimate of zero is admissible but useless straight line distance is admissible estimate for past lengths in euclidean space use of an admissible estimate guard, uh, guarantees that uh, you see will still find the shortest path you see is an admissible estimate is known as a pronounced as a star <laughs> yeah right search Let's look at the quick example of the straight line distance underestimate for best lengths in a graph. Consider the following simple graph, which we are assuming is embedded in Euclidean space, that is a uh, sink of the states, a city location, and the length of the links are proportional to the diving distance between the cities along the best roads. Then we can use a straight line, airline, airline distance shown in red, as an underestimate of the actual driving distance between any city and the goal. The best possible driving distance between two cities cannot be better than the straight line distance, but it can be much worse. Here we see the straight line estimate between B and G is very bad. The actual driving distance is much longer than the straight line underestimate. Imagine that B and G are on different sides of the Grand Canyon, for example. Why use estimate of goal distance? It may help you to understand why an underestimate of remaining distance may help reach the goal faster to visualize the behavior of UC in a simple example. Imagine that the states in a graph represents points in a plane that the con connectivity is to nearest neighbors. In this case, UC will expand nodes in order of distance from the start point. That is, as time goes by, the expanded points will be located within expanding circular conscious centered on the start point note however the points hitting away from the goal will be treated just the same as points that are hitting towards the goal order in which you see looks at states a and b are same distance from start so we will be looked at before any longer passes no bias towards go goal b a and start here assume states are points in the euclidean distance in euclidean plane Why use estimate of goal distance? Why why should we use it? Look look here. It's order of examination using uh, distance from start plus estimate of distance. No goal, no bias towards the goal. Points away from goal look worse. If we add in an estimate of the straight line distance to the goals, the points expanded will be bounded countries that keep constant the sum of the distance from the start and the distance to the goal as suggested in the figure what the underestimate has done is to bias the search towards the goal let's walk through the, an example of a star that is uniform cost search using a heuristic which is an underestimate of remaining cost to the goal in this example we are focusing on the use of the underestimate the heuristic we will be using is similar to the earlier one but slightly modified to be admissible we start at s as usual we do the same here and expand to a and b know that we are using the pass length plus underestimate and so to the s a pass has a value of four length two estimate two the s b pass has a value of eight five plus three we pick the past way let's come back to the first picture what do we he see here zero s zero s right and we have here heuristic values a is equal to 2 c is equal to 1 s 0 b 3 d 1 and g 0 so this is 5 plus 3 and 2 plus 2 2 plus 2 okay uh, it's obvious everything is obvious here and okay so the step is a pass to the goal of length 
Length eight. Not all heuristics are admissible. Given the link lengths in the figure, is the table of heuristic values that we used in our earlier best first example an admissible heuristic? A is okay, B is okay, C is okay, D is too big, needs to be smaller than two. S is too big, can always use zero for start. Here's no. It is important to realize that not all heuristics are admissible. In fact, the rather arbitrary heuristic values we used in our best first example are not admissible given the past lengths we later assign. In particular, the value for d is bigger than its distance for, to the goal, and so this set of distances is not everywhere and underestimated of distance to the goal from every node. Note that the arbitrary value assigned for s is also an overestimate but this value would have no ill effect since at the time s is expanding there are no alternatives uh, move titles to reach goal think of a movie as moving empty title alternative underestimates of distance number of moves to goal number of misplaced titles seven in example above you see also, it is easy and alternative con into it to illustrate the concept of heuristic by using the notion of straight line distance to the goal in Euclidean space. It's important to remember that this is by no means the only example. Take solving uh, the so-called eight puzzle in which the goal is to arrange the pieces as in the goal state on the right. We can think of the move in this game as sliding the empty space to one of its nearest vertical horizontal neighbors. We can help steer a search to find a short sequence of moves by using a heuristic estimate of the moves remaining to the goal. One admissible estimate is simply the number of misplaced titles tiles no move can get more than one misplaced style into place so this measure is a guaranteed underestimate and hence admissible we can do better if we know that in fact each move can and best decrease by one the manhattan aka taxi cab aka tile linear distance of a tile from its goal so the sum of these distances for each misplaced tile is also an underestimate know that it is always a better a larger underestimate than the number of misplaced tiles in this example there are seven misplaced tiles all except tile two but the manhattan distance estimate is 17 four for tile one zero for tile two two for tile three and c three for tile four, one for tile five, three for tile six, and one for tile seven, and three for tile eight. Alternative underestimates of distance, number of moves to goal, number of misplaced tiles seven in example above. Sum of Manhattan distance of tile to its goal location 17, in example above, Manhattan distance between x1 and y1 and x2 and y2 is x1 minus x2 plus y1 minus y2. Each move can only decrease the distance of exactly one tile. The second of this is much better in predicting actual number of moves. So let's look at this example closer. Let's look here. 4 for tile 1 by 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0 for tile 2, why 0 for tile 2? Because it's already here.